Hi. Hey, YouTube. Uh, let's get me focused. Let's get me focused. Good. Good. It's so hi. Uh, I'm Dan. This is Music Time. And today I want to talk about the new Green Day album. <laughs> I haven't done these videos in a while. Um, but yeah, so Green Day, they came out with a new album, uh, Revolution Radio. It comes out, I think it comes out like in a few days, a week, something like that. And to be honest with you, you know, I've I made videos before about their last three albums, you know, Uno Dos Tre. And what I thought then, which I still think now, is that with those albums, you know, like, there were some pretty good songs on them. Like, there were some pretty good songs, but there were also some pretty, eh, not so good ones as well. And I thought that it was just too much. It was just too much. And if instead of making three okay albums, if they just picked the best songs, they could have made one great album. Because there's some great songs on there. But after listening to it, that, I sort of I sort of stopped listening to Green Day. I haven't really thought about Green Day too much aside from the odd time now or then. And then well like a couple months ago, something like that, they released a song, Bang Bang. And I listened to it first and I'm just listening to it in the background and I'm like, ah, it's whatever, you know. And then I listen to it again and again and again and I start hearing, first of all, there's like this new sort of new sort of life to them, right? Um, and on top of that, like you listen to the lyrics and I fucking I love the lyrics, it's awesome. <laughs> it's not awesome. But it's so it's just sick sick and like a bit twisted, you know? It's like it's written through the viewpoint of some some mass shooter, but in some weird way that's glorifying him, but it's not like, you know, it's, they're not saying, hey, this is good, but they're trying to show how sick and messed up it is in his own little world. I think that's great. I think that's, I love, you know, that's one of the reasons why I love Pulp, you know, same sort of idea, but more towards like sex and that kind of thing. Um, but bang, bang, I was listening to it a lot, and also one more thing about that. I, I think like if Green Day, because Green Day these days, they're not, they're not as big as they used to be, honestly. Like they're not going to be, I don't think Green Day's ever going to be as big as they were in 2004 with, you know, like American Idiot and all that. It's just, it's just a different time in the music world. Um, but if they release this song when they're at like the peak of the fame and like everybody was hearing that song on the radio over and over again, I think you would definitely see, you know, like all these like news shows, especially like Fox News or something like that reporting on, you know, like, oh, kids are going to misinterpret these lyrics, and this and that. Ooh, power's going up. Ugh. Yeah, so Bang Bang, I really like that song. Um, it's got this great energy to it, and it's just, I love the way that's written. And then, you know, a few weeks later, they come out with this other song, Revolution Radio, and I listen to that, and, you know, at first I'm like, this is pretty good, but I keep listening to it, and I'm like, ah, I'm liking this song. And I'm getting more and more into it, and, um, and it's a great song. It's I love when they hit the chorus. I love just the energy of it. You know, Green Day, they really feel like revitalized, you know? It's um they're taking a step forward into this new sound of theirs, they're sort of stepping away. You can still hear, you know, bits and pieces of earlier Green Day. It's not like they're reinventing the wheel, but they're still going in a slightly different direction, which is a good thing. Um and Revolution Radio is that and Bang Bang are definitely my favorite songs on the album. Um, although I don't like Revolution Radio, there's that there's that one lyric in it um, with the anti-social media. And I think that that's just an awful, that's an awful lyric. Like honestly, I think I think like Billy Joe Armstrong is like right, you know, and he's like, ooh, you know, I'm so smart, this is a great lyric. And it just it comes off as it's trying too hard with that one little lyric, but <laughs> it's a bit cringeworthy that one. But like the actual sound of it and like I love how Green Day is once again going back to it's more political now, you know? It's um, it's very much, once again, like, we don't like the system and everything's messed up with the world. Um, from what I hear on the news, the United States, along with a lot of other places, are having issues for sure, and this sort of addresses some of that. And also, I like, it addresses, um, you know, like Billy Joe Armstrong, like his personal life, his one song, like. I'm still breathing, I'm still breathing, whatever it's called. He's saying that, you know, it's about, you know, going over like hard times and it's not necessarily about, you know, back in like 2012 or 2013 when he had to go to rehab for drugs. But it's clearly, you know, it's clearly a part of that, of him that's going into that. And there's also songs about like, you know, feeling 
like middle aged and um, you know looking back at like high school and that kind of thing. You know, there's hints of that here and there, and I think I think that's nice. You know, so you have some of that. Um, you have some of the political stuff, and all around it makes a really good album. Honestly, I, I think it's the best thing they've done since American Idiot, and I think that just like with American Idiot, which is where a lot of people got introduced to Green Day, uh, I think for a lot of people though, for like you know this slightly newer generation, there's going to be people discovering Green Day through Revolution Radio, and I think that a lot of people are really going to see it as a good, solid album. You know, there's very few complaints I have. The one. My, my biggest complaints are like, there's, I can't remember the exact song, but you know, like there's a song somewhere in it where I thought it's just a, a rough transition. I remember like one song was really fast and the next song it slows down a little bit. Um, and I, when I'm listening to an album, I want to listen to it as a whole, the album experience, you know, just not this song's good, that song's good, that kind of thing. So that part, uh, you know, I didn't really like that because they did that really well in American Idiot with, um, was it like Holiday and Boulevard of Broken Dreams where it's sort of, intertwined with each other, which was nice. This album, there's like one cut between two songs where I thought they could have done that better. Um, as well as the second last song, overall is a really good song, but it's seven minutes long, and it's not like Green Day has made some good long songs before, like, you know, like, going back to American Idiot, you've got Jesus of Suburbia, you've got Homecoming, those are like 11, 12 minutes each, so they can do the nice big long songs, but I just felt that for that song, there wasn't enough in it. It wasn't a song that even if it was like four or five minutes that I would have, you know, wanted to go back to it all the time. So like a six or seven minute song is just a little bit much. Um, but it is a good album closer, the second last song. And that's also like, if you listen to it, it's a, it's a fine song. It's just a bit long for me. Um, but I think that should have been the very last song on the album. But then right after that, they have a song called Ordinary World. And Ordinary World, once again, it's a good song, but personally, like, they wrapped it up so well with the second last song in the album, it sounds weird that they have another song afterwards. And it's a slow song, it's definitely, you could definitely close an album with it, but the one before just does it so well that I really wish that this song was, you know, um, I wish it was like, like a bonus track or something like that for some special edition release or whatever. Or I wish that it was, you know, like a B-side to one of the singles or something they put online that's separate from the album, because I feel like it does take away slightly and just in the fact that the, the song before it really should have closed and not this one. Um, and also it's Ordinary World, so it's based off of, or it's written for, I think, for the album that Billy Joe Armstrong's in, sorry, for the movie he's in. Which is cool, but you know, I'm listening to this album and it sort of feels like a plug for a movie. A cool looking movie, I'll probably see it. But you know, it seems like something for a movie. But no, overall though, like honestly, I have very few issues with this album. You know, I just think that the actual structuring of the album itself could have been a bit different. One of the songs was a bit long, another one I thought should have been like a B-side or something like that. Aside from that though, it's good, especially Bang Bang, Revolution Radio. And the one song after that, which name I'm forgetting, they're, it's just this nice powerhouse, you know? It makes you feel, you feel good. I was just going around, walking downtown, I had my headphones on, and you just feel, it just gets you, you know? And this is, I think that, you know, Green Day fans are definitely going to be very pleased with this. I think that if you're not a Green Day fan, this album is another one of those sort of like jumping on points for it. Um, I don't think they're reinventing the wheel, I don't think it's the best album they've done, but I think some people will consider it their favorite Green Day album. I think other people are going to see it in like a top three or top five list. Overall, honestly, I'm, I'm really impressed by it. And I, I don't know, I'm just excited about Green Day again, which I haven't been in years. So yeah, um, that's, that's it. That's all I got. I hope you like this video. Subscribe if you want. In the last like three years, I've made three videos, so who knows what the hell I'm doing next. But sometimes I chat about music, so that's what I gotta say. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and yeah, bye. And now I gotta, I gotta go up here. I gotta go up here.